whatever stage of life that we're in, the fundamentals we're gonna talk about will make a measurable difference for you, but you're gonna have to decide what's right for you. So all I'm trying to tell you is, today, think of this as a second opinion. Think of this as the most important subject of your life, even though you may not have made it that way. Think of it as something that isn't a should, but a total what? A must to master, because if you master this, everything else you can dream of is available to you. And if you fail to master this, everything else goes to the wayside. I mean, I meet people all the time in relationships and they want relationship therapy. And I, I say, you know what you gotta do? You gotta exercise, you gotta work out, you gotta lose some weight. You guys are just so tired, there couldn't possibly be any passion. When you're exhausted, there is no passion. And people say, okay, well, I'm gonna really work on a plan and I'm gonna organize things and I'm gonna find the best trainer. And you know, I come back, I'm talking to them a week later and they're still planning things. And this woman's telling me, no, but I'm gonna get the best trainer. I got the very best trainer and organize this. I said, ma'am, with all due respect, you don't need a plan, you need a trainer, you need somebody who gets behind you and just yells, run! <laughs> move! You don't need this long plan, you just gotta move. You know, we're living in a society where nobody moves anymore. What do we like today? How do people get injured today? They don't get injured smashing into people playing football and anything else, they get injured typing, right? You know, picking up a pencil, oh, oh, that really, oh. That's how people get hurt today because we don't use everything anymore. We live in a box. Think about it. Think about our lives today and how different it is than maybe the way we were formed and made to run, to hunt, to create, to procreate, to raise our children, to move, to farm, to do all the things that made us use all of our body. Today, what do we do? You wake up and you have this box life. You have a box breakfast, right? You get in your box car, you drive to your box office, you load up a box elevator. You don't use the stairs, of course. Right? You go to your box office where you type on a box, talk on a box, right? Go into a box room for meetings, right? Sure enough, got a little box you can type on, listen to, listen to music on, box. Have your box lunch, drive your box home or get in the train or subway and another box home. Get home to your box and then turn on the box. <laughs> type on a box, message on a box. I mean, and maybe go get a cylinder to change your state, right? Yeah, maybe. And most people's idea of exercise in our society today is fill the tub, pull the plug, and fight the current. <laughs> you know what I'm and that, that's the world we live in today. And so it's not hard to figure out why we're getting fat and why we're finally kind of tired and why we're building up acid in our system, consuming foods that have nothing alive in them anymore where everything is denurtured and everything is chemicalized or radiated. So it, it can feel overwhelming, but I think if we got back to our common sense and if we were really committed, we can make it all work. We're gonna figure out why to. Because 80% of success in anything is psychology and 20% is mechanics. It's the beliefs you have that are guiding your decisions. Listen, if you make a different decision, will you take different actions, yes or no? If you take different actions, will you get different results? Yes or no? Yes. So this day is about some new decisions. Some decisions about what you're gonna believe about health and energy, how important it's gonna be from you from now on. What's gonna be a must for you versus a should for you? Energy is a place that I've more than been, right? And I wanna make sure that you have even more. I wanna make it so that it's as effortless as possible in the future, so you're not burnt out from it, so this becomes a sustainable experience. How do you make it sustainable? Create the base. How to make it sustainable? Challenge it. Once you've got a base, you challenge and grow. How do you do it? Then you've got to celebrate and reward yourself for making these great rewards. And that celebration enhances your base because you feel better and stronger and you want to do even more good things. You want to eat better. You want to play better. I mean, when you start working out and you start to get into it, you love it. You love it. And then your base gets even stronger so you can take on a bigger challenge in life. And sure enough, you reward yourself and celebrate some more. And it becomes how the rich get richer, how the happy get happier how the healthy get healthier, and the poor get poorer, and the depressed get more depressed, and the unhealthy get more unhealthy. It's momentum. Today is that process of momentum. My goal is for you today to have more certainty. Certainty that you have the answers that can guide you, and that there will be challenges in your environment. There are gonna be environmental challenges. There are gonna be all kinds of things you'll face, but whatever it is, you can handle it. And I'm hoping that as a result of today, you'll not only make a difference in yourself, but you'll own this so much that you won't have to lecture anybody. They'll come to you and go, oh God, you have so much more energy. You look so much better. You lost this. How'd you do it? And you'll both say, let me tell you. And you will be a person who's a force for good that'll pass it on to the people. So my goal today is to plant seeds so that you not only get this, but this spreads to other people. 
Listen, we want to send this quick video out to you just to give you two quick principles that you could use to immediately increase your energy, get stronger, and if you want to, lose some weight. Because, you know, Memorial Day is kind of the beginning of summer, and traditionally everybody starts thinking about, I'm going to get strong again, get fit, get in my swimming suit, get my groove on, or whatever metaphor people use. So we want to give you these two principles because, A, they don't really take any willpower. That's the best part. B, they're scientifically proven, and C, really something you can do immediately to see an increase. So honey, our first principle is? Our first principle is to super hydrate. What we mean by that is flushing your body with enough clean water on a daily basis. You know, the planet, I mean, water is life, and the planet itself is 70% water, and even within our own internal body, our brain is 75% water, 76 actually, our muscles are 75, and our bones are actually made up of 25% water. So on a daily basis, we need to make certain that we're getting enough hydration. And you know, the first symptom of dehydration, meaning your body doesn't have enough water, water is not Jeez. thirst. That's what most mm -hmm. people think. If you wait till you're really thirsty to drink, you're really dehydrated. In fact, studies show that 60 to 70 percent of the population is dehydrated throughout the day. The number one symptom of dehydration is fatigue, mm -hmm. feeling tired. That's why I see a lot of people later in the afternoon, they've eaten a bunch of things mm -hmm. and their body gets dehydrated from just normal working out or being around or just normal heat. And all of a sudden people are tired all the time. If you want to have more energy, which will give you fitness and will give you health, it will make you strong, the first thing you want to do is superhydrate. Drink more water. And we're not talking about coffee. We're mm -hmm. not talking about Cokes because those things have water in them, but they have other elements in them that are very acid. And when you get a lot of acid in your body, your body's got to flush that acid out in order to stay balanced. And so as a result, you don't keep hydrated. So hydration is critical. Just think of this. You're not just what you eat. You're what you drink. So even though it's such a simple thing that we take mm -hmm. for granted, it's the most important thing in the world. And I'll tell you one other quick point. If you want to lose weight, mm -hmm. this is counterintuitive, drink more water. Mm -hmm. Because what most people do, they don't want to, you know, they don't want to drink water because they think, oh, I'm going to get bloated. But in fact, when you don't give your body enough water, what the body does is it holds on to the water you have. And as a result of that, you retain water. When the body sees you're giving it enough hydration, it'll let go of that excess water and you'll actually see weight loss. So it's super important. You want to super hydrate. So now what does that mean? You want to share with them the yes, principle? Yes, of course. The super hydration, what we mean by that is you need to, as a minimum, drink half your body weight in ounces. So myself, I'm about 140 pounds. So if you split that in half, that would be 70 ounces a day. And that's just as a minimum. And, you know, I'll share one of my own experiences as well. Um, it's rarely I get a headache. But if I ever do, instead of, you know, so many people will go and go to grab Tylenol or grab Aspen, I know I'm dehydrated. And I'll drink a full thing of water, and, and instantly that headache's gone. And we say super hydrate. We mean, like, drink a large thing of water. Most people, you go, drink some water, and they go like this, they sip, and they, this much water's gone. They go, I have some water. You really got to retrain your body because our modern world has trained us to think of water as being, again, that Coke, that coffee, and it's not the same mm -hmm. thing, okay? So here's our second quick principle. If you, again, focus here is energy because energy is life. That's mm -hmm. going to get you out there working out. If you're tired, you have a hard time getting yourself to do that. It'll change your mind. It'll change your emotions. So water's number one. So number two is very much related, and that is go green. Mm -hmm. And what we mean by that is you want to have 70% of your diet be water-rich foods. That'll help you to alkalize. You want to explain what that means? Definitely. And, and when he's saying water-rich foods, he means living foods. So green veggies and plants and, and salads and so forth. If this was your dinner plate like so, and if my hand was a piece of, say, you know, chicken or fish or something free range, the rest of your plate should be green salad and veggies, raw and live and living. So it helps to neutralize salads and green veggies. They're high in chlorophyll, they're high in minerals, and the amino acids that you, your body needs in order to neutralize some of these acids that Tony's been talking about. A simple way of thinking about it is if you want to be alive, eat live foods. Absolutely. I mean, the, the more things that are dead that you're eating, the more difficult it is for your body to stay, you know, in balance. Mm -hmm. And when you think about it, you might say, well, I'm going to have a steak or I'm going to have fish or anything like that. That's very concentrated. It's not much water that's in there. Mm -hmm. But if you had a piece of watermelon, obviously that's different. If you're having pasta or bread, there's not much water in there. And water is the solvent of life. Water detoxifies mm -hmm. our system. So you can't just drink water because then what will happen is you probably read about people saying, oh, don't drink too much water or you'll put an imbalance in your body. Well, that imbalance is because you lose the alkalinity of your body. You mm -hmm. lose sodium. You, know, you lose magnesium. You mm -hmm. lose a variety of chemistry that's there. So we really teach people how to alkalize. And when you drink green drinks or eat green foods, mm -hmm. you're getting these natural alkaline components. What do we mean by that to keep it simple? Um, think of it this way. 
chemi- there is a chemistry to energy. Mm-hmm. The body has a very, very sensitive alkaline acid balance. You don't have to understand all the details of it, but just like your body has to maintain, you know, a temperature that's within a very short range or you lose your health, the same thing is true with acid alkaline. Mm-hmm. Our body's slightly alkaline. Mm-hmm. So what you want to do is make sure that you keep your body alkaline because most of our lifestyle is acid. Can you give yes, some examples de- of how that is? De- definitely. And what Tony's talking about, if you think of acid rain just alone in the environment and what that does to pollute the environment, so you think of that internally within your own body. If we're putting acids, whether that's coffee or sodas, my gosh, we just read a statistic the other day. The average American consumes 150 pounds of sugar in the body, and that just, I mean, erodes the body. It strips the body of the natural minerals that it needs in order to neutralize these acids. So by making choices, with green veggies and by having a green drink we get up and we do our you know inner balanced greens and wheatgrass and to make choices or even something as simple as lemon in your water all those help to counterbalance and keep the body in balance like in a homeostasis which is constantly trying to do <laughs> and even if you're not eating sugar directly that, was, that white sugar mm-hmm. or now you have all these NutraSweet, all these alternatives that are just as acidic and it's sometimes toxic. even more toxic Absolutely. for the body we're taking 30 times more sugar in our bodies than our grandparents were taking. Mm-hmm. I mean, and sugar is acid, mm-hmm. and it changes the chemistry of the body. Mm-hmm. And what we also need to know is acid creates an environment where there's less oxygen, an mm-hmm. anaerobic environment. When you have less oxygen, you mm-hmm. have fatigue. And some of the most interesting studies have shown cancer only grows in an acidic, anaerobic environment. That's what makes it expand. So if you want to get the benefits of health, of energy, of vitality, if you want to lose weight, mm-hmm. listen, if you're overweight, you're over acid. Can you share a little bit about what happens when the body can't flush the acid, honey? Absolutely. What the body does is, is its own protective mechanism. It will actually store the acids in the fat, in the tissue, in order so that the bloodstream is not acidic. And so it keeps robbing or pulling from, from the bone or, or trying to throw them into the tissue in order to keep that homeostasis that we talked about. So this is about creating habits on a daily basis that you can do that support the body. And number one with the hydration, and number two with eating the green veggies and raw live alkaline foods. So simply, what are we saying? Here's what you go do to increase your energy and lose some weight. Super hydrate, that means make sure you're going to be half your body weight in ounces each day, 140 pounds, 70 mm-hmm. ounces, gives you an example. Secondly, you want to go green. You want to put more greens in your diet, about 70% of your diet. Make sure it's water rich, alive foods. Have whatever you want and mm-hmm. do that component. Now, before I met my girl, I mentioned in the other video, I'm, I was crazy. I didn't have chocolate for 24 years. You know, I didn't do ice cream, anything like that. And she kind of balanced me out with a principle that <laughs> has made my life a lot happier and you will like it as well because you might say, oh, am I doing this perfect? Am I doing this right? And that's the principle of zigging and zagging. I don't know if I balanced him, but I suppose I corrupted him a tad. <laughs> <laughs> so zigging and zagging, I think what happens for people is they go to an extreme and it's important as well that your diet and your lifestyle and to be healthy, that it's enjoyable. So instead of feeling deprived or instead of it being so black and white and so rigid within that basis, what we do, I always call it zigging and zagging, is one day a week, have a popcorn night, have a mood or have a treat or you know um, whether I love chocolate <laughs> that would be yes. my one vice so to um, not making it so right and wrong but it's remember it's what you do on a daily basis that shapes your health so if on a daily basis you're conscious of how much you're consuming with water and also how much you're eating with raw live veggies that are alkalizing to have a treat now and again serve so that's our zigging and zagging principle and sometimes you know we it's not our day you know that gives us yeah, four days true. a month that we can go off there's not our day but we have a craving we go by something when we see the ice cream shop uh, what's the one that we'd love to go stop to? Uh, Cold Stone. Cold Stone. We're a Cold Stone addicts at times. But what we'll do is, if it's not our zag day, we're like, okay, we're going to have two bites, mm-hmm. which usually turns into four, a maximum of six, <laughs> but just a couple bites. And what happens is you don't feel like you're depriving yourself. Mm-hmm. And so you're not... You're not having to do that swinging the pendulum from one extreme to the other. I thank my girl for that. She really put that balance in my life. And you can enjoy food for celebration as well. So super hydrate, Mm -hmm. go green, 70% water, alive foods. Give yourself the ability to zag and have some fun. We hope these three principles make a difference, make you a better Memorial Day, give you some health, give you some energy, give you some fitness. And we hope to see you sometime soon. God bless to you. Stay healthy. Till next time. Bye-bye. Live strong, live with passion. (laughs) Bye-bye.